We are back. Hello there and welcome. With more songs that you request. Living room request. We don't choose. That's Patricia Hammond. That's Matt Redman. Here we go. <laughs> Now, while he gets his jingly on, this is live, um, we are going to be doing It Must Be Love. This is for Andy. And it's a song from 19... The 70s. 71. 70s. And it's by a fellow called Labi Sifra, who I, don't, I apologize to him. He's still alive he and well and looking great. He is. Yes. Here we have it. Thank you, Andy. Lovely ringing sound from that wonderful guitar. That's yeah, a very nice guitar, which is going back tomorrow. Now, a uh, couple of things to note. Thanks so much for a continued variation of requests. Number one. Yes, thank you, um, Andy. Presentation of requests. Andy always asks for such very lovely songs. Good, good choices. Sweet songs. This was a foot tambourine, folks, and it fell off, as you noticed. I didn't um, notice. Because my shoes are too shiny and shiny soft. Shiny and... Um, there you go. If and you had filthier, more filthy scuffed trend. up shoes. Uh, anyway, so that was fine. that. And um, this little mirror here, I didn't just have a shave before we started. I placed that for everybody to appreciate some of the things that I do with other parts of my body, he including wants my feet. Yeah, well, I mean, basically, some people think that we, we d overdub later on, and that is not the case. Absolutely not. There's no overdubbing. It's all live. And whenever you hear something, you know, rhythmical going on and there's nothing in my hands, and he's busy with both of his. It's not overdubbed. It's his feet. Real. It's his feet. And, you know, I mean, occasionally in... In, in, in other videos, sometimes you can see a little cutaway. Why, 
I didn't notice anything happen. I thought that was absolutely fine. Anyway, we move on. We move on to something completely different. That was from like 1976 or something. 1971, yeah. 71, okay. But there was a there was a brand that had a big hit with that 10 years later. Yes, everybody will know it as a madness anyway. number, but it's not. They, they were a cover. A cover. Just like we're covers for everything. <laughs> we're covers, Mozart, Beethoven. We're about Beethoven. to cover for the we're about to 17th cover, century. We're about to cover a song from 1662. Um, this is, this is requested by Ernest, who has requested some very interesting, because Ernest, um, has seen us in live situations, usually early music live situations. This is a, oh, you need the music for No, it? no, it's okay, fine. Well, it's, fine. It. it's fine. Don't need it. Well, I'm going to just do that okay. so that you can oh, we're fine. thus okay, see good. it. So. This is a Cavalier Ballad from 1662. <sighs> it uses a tune from, uh, one of the Playford tunes. Um, called Love Lies a Bleeding, but um, the the words very pointed, um, and I'm gonna, no matter how good my diction is, um, there's a lot of words to take in here. It's definitely it sort of has political import, I believe, and it says Law Lies a Bleeding. Um, songs... Throw away your books; they are of no good in today's world. Is basically the message. Songs really were a great. Uh, and very significant vehicle in those days. Yes, for language. expressing, yeah. yeah, 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 political views and things. a message. Bring it back. So I'm going to um, play a bit of auto harp, bit of mandolin, a bit of drum. Oh, a bit of drum. Maybe you'll see it in the shaving mirror. Who we'll knows? See. You can go back and see. Um, yeah, we might have to have a bigger mirror. We'll find out. We'll get, we'll get your, you know, feedback. So this is good. Yeah, 1662. Law lies are bleeding. Go and put the words in the description. Why, thank you. Yeah. Lay by your pleading, law lies a bleeding. Burn all of your studies down and throw away your reading. Small power the word has and can afford us not half so many privileges as the sword has. It fosters your masters, it plasters disasters, and makes your servants quickly greater than their masters. It venters, it enters, it circles, it centers, and makes apprentice free in spite of his indentures. This takes off tall things and sets up small things. This masters money, though money masters all things. Tis not in season to talk of reason or call it legal when the sword will have it treason. It conquers the crown to the furs and the gown to this sit up a presbyter and this pulled him down to this slap deceiver, turn bonnet to beaver, down drops a bishop and up starts a weaver. This fits a layman to be a preacher and freeman, tis this can make a lord of him that was a drayman. For from the dull pit, a folly's full pit, this brought a common iron monger to the pulpit. Such pitiful things be more happier than kings be. This got the heraldry of Thimbleby and Slingsby. No gospel can guide it, no law can decide it, in church or state until the sword has sanctified it. He that can tar or him that is lower would be thought a fool to put away his power. Take books and rent them. Who would invent them? When as the sword replies, negator argumentum, your grand college butlers, much stoop to their subtlers. There's not a library living like the cutlers. The blood that is spilt, sir, have gained all the guilt, sir. Thus have you seen me run my sword up to the hilt, sir. There's a little bread knife for you, because uh, Ernest suggested bringing a rapier out or a, or, a, or a rod or something like that, but we had a bread knife or whatever that is. It's not a very good knife. But look, anyway, if basically, you, if you... swords work, books don't. That's, I think, the message. Oh, but very good. You can see what you can think. And also art is there to be interpreted. So if you enjoy this kind of thing, you can put your thumbs up. That means that you enjoy it officially. That tells the Google servers you that could. you enjoy it. And uh, you could also write a comment like, I liked that, 
please do not bring out things from the kitchen again. I came here for live music. <laughs> you can also say, Matt should just stick to one instrument. It looks like he's going to drop it. Get a bigger and mirror. And it doesn't even sound good anyway. Just say anything. Anything. Because uh, anything helps. Say anything. Um, and if you really love it. And, say and brontosaurus you've... bones. And if you really love Whatever it. Whatever you want. <laughs> and you've stumbled on this by weird chance, you can subscribe to Patricia Hammond's songs and see over a hundred other... Or Matt Redman 98. You can. A hundred other uh, Living Room Request episodes. So what are we going to leave them with? We are going to finish with This Is For Miles. Miles, speaking of political things, this is a protest song from 1912. Um, although it was, yeah, it was from the, um, the, the, there were disasters in textile factories in New York and Massachusetts in uh, 1911. It led to these, um, these protests. Lots of inf information on that. Uh, very, very interesting. Um, and this poem is by James Oppenheim, which came from, uh, he got the term bread and roses from a speech um, from, um, um, oh gosh, Helen Todd. Yeah. In 1910. We did this uh, con song in a concert recently that Emma you can Kirkby find and friends. on them. Um, we are yeah. friends of Emma Kirkby. Online. Like friends of Dorothy. If you search for live, live from London, spring, you can see us doing this in a in an early music concert. Here we go. That's right. As we come marching, marching beauty of the day a million darkened kitchens a thousand mill loft gray are touched with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses for the people hear us crying bread and roses Red and roses As we come marching, marching We battle to for men For they are women's comrades We fight as well with them Our lives will not be sweated From birth until That was that. Like I said, if you want to check out a much larger version, including the Orbo, uh, triple strung there. Baroque harp. I don't think it's available. I'm sure it is. Oh, who knows? I'm sure it is. Oh, who knows? Search this one from, is from Live from London, Emma Kirkby and Friends, Voces 8, which is V-O-C-E-S. But thank you, Miles, for uh, yeah. so, uh, requesting a song that we've already done this season. We're going to have to leave you there. Well, there's a lot more to be said about Mimi Farina wrote the wrote the music. For one. Sister of uh, Joan Baez. There's so much to be said about that song. So much to be said about all of them. But yeah. thanks for joining us on Living Room Quest. We'll see you. you on the next Thank one. Thank you very much. Yes. Bye well, bye. Hopefully. Up to you. Thank you so much.